Geeks, what is going on? Unite the Clans here, back in your life, and I'm back in your life for the first time in a very long time with a game trailer breakdown. I did it for Ark, did it for the new Fallout game. I do it when games get me really excited, and today you don't just get one trailer broken down, you get three. Now I will say guys, because of the way copyright works on YouTube, you aren't hearing the music that the directors of these beautiful trailers put with them. You're going to hear music that I've added in later, uh, and one that won't give me a problem when it comes to posting this video on YouTube. So I'm going to start this off and I will give you links below guys for all the trailers for this game. Now what is the game? Why am I giving you three trailers? So geeks, the game that we are going to be breaking down today, not just any game, this is Just Cause 3 and that's why you get three trailers. Now how gorgeous is this? I know this trailer in particular, guys, if you ever want to be an action hero in your life, this game is as close as you will come. Look at what's happening on screen right now. Rico throwing dudes from planes. And look at just the way they've shot this. This feels like a movie. It doesn't feel like a game. And it's about to get epic. Rev that bike. These are action movie cliches. Bus tumbling, gunfights, explosions, helicopter to helicopter combat, vehicles. And look at what they've added to this game compared to Just Cause 2. You know, there's backflips, there's crazy sunflower fields. Ah, just look at that, this is an action movie, god damn. Oh god, this is the first trailer guys, this is the shortest one. And it ends with a bang. Uh, yeah, cool guys don't look at explosions, but cool guys are gonna be playing Just Cause, just cause 3. three. Um, so guys, that if that doesn't have you excited, we got another one coming right up. Now this one, sadly, you won't get the song that comes with it normally. Uh, this feels like an intro to a James Bond movie. You've got this kind of slow motion explosions, really kind of melodic music, and we're just watching the world explode. And that's what this game is great for. I mean, look at this. Just slow motion death. Just wait till they do the bridge. The bridge is gonna blow your mind. With Just Cause 3, and sorry, before I get to that, if we're talking James Bond, I know these cars are inspired by a lot of things, but that, if that's not an Aston Martin, I don't know what it is. If that's not the car from Dr. No, I don't know what it is. Um, so they've done away with logic. In the last game, yeah, you had to go get C4, you ran out of it. This game, no more. C4, endless. This game is about chaos. Look at that bridge! Look at that bridge explode, god dang! And that's your enemy there. That is a horrible dictator called Di Ravello, who has taken control of an island chain called Medici. And this isn't any other island chain like Panau in the last game. This is Rico's homeland. This is the main character returning home, not tasked by some government to take down this man, just trying to liberate his people. A man's eyelashes don't move like that unless he is in complete free fall. The last game we had parachutes, grappling hooks, Here's your protagonist, this is Rico Rodriguez. We got more than parachutes, more than grappling hooks, and you shall see. But that is Just Cause 3. And boom, wingsuit. Wingsuit, mother effos. Oh shit. Unlike Fallout, which comes out about a month before this game, they want you to set the world on fire. If that doesn't get you stoked, I don't know what will, but we have one more trailer coming up, and this is the biggest and most epic of all of them. Uh, now for this, guys, I have cut it out. This trailer comes with a lot of uh, descriptions. Uh, it's someone talking, narrating over it. And because I can't use that audio, I just set this to music, and I'm going to talk over it. So you check out the car, you hop in the car, you back out of it, right? Now the car's a mother effing bomb. You get on the roof, it falls directly into whatever you want it to fall into, and you just wingsuit to freedom. Run away. You got jet planes. The stunts on top of planes are going to be sick in this game. You don't just get like locked to one spot. You can just jump on the wing, whatever you want. Bridges blow up because of Limitless C4. And we'll get to see Rico's homeworld. Yeah, blasted down trees, sunflower fields. There's a crazy looking church here. How gorgeous is that? And then the alpine environments with the wingsuit. And there's the man, Di Ravello. Rules your homeland with an iron fist. And he's going to send an army after you. And your whole goal of this game is to take everything away from this man. 
And um, yeah, you do it with tanks, you do it with your flight suit, you do it with helicopters, jeeps, more helicopters probably. Yeah, give me more helicopters. This man though, he doesn't just want to rule your home world. You see that? This man is not a tyrant. He is also a conqueror. He wants all of Europe. And if you don't stop him now, he will get it. Hand-to-hand -hand combat, however you have to do it. Buses, blowing stuff up. Oh, there's some crazy ones coming up. You take down a, a helicopter with a bus. Look at the distance on that grappling hook now. It's amazing. Oh, God. I think the song I chose is going to work beautifully for this. It feels about perfect for this. Look at helicopter do -si do Grappling hook, grappling hook, grappling hook. And now you can shrink that grappling hook down. You can contract it and pull things down to the ground. You can do that and you can create pinball effects with a chopper or with trucks full of gasoline. You just hook them up and then you walk away and then you retract. You can send a man into space. Poor fella. Pulling choppers down with buses. Pulling down chaos causing items, whatever they are. Dropping statues. Giant wrecking balls. Look at this. You just hook up jeeps to the bottom of your plane. Bam. Wrecking ball. Wrecking ball. Wrecking ball. Parachute combat is massively enhanced. It's a stable gun platform now. Look what you can do. If you can drop barrels on guys' heads, that's so much better. The last game being in a parachute made you really vulnerable. But here it looks like you're just as much a boss as you were uh, on the ground or in a plane or whatever. And free fall wingsuit, wingsuit over that gorgeous landscape on PC. This is going to be over a thousand square kilometers. Uh, the game last time was four times as big as GTA 5, and this one is twice as big as that. So think eight times as big as GTA 5, which is a huge game. And that's this. You got pistols, machine guns, upside down helicopter action. I should just shut up, guys, because this game speaks for itself. Jet skis, bikes, boats, choppers, sports cars, fighter jets, monster trucks. Monster trucks. More choppers, F1 cars. There's 80 plus vehicles. And look, there's doors, there's engines, there's engine compartments, there's cabs. These aren't just a block that explodes. Individual bits break off, and that's the same thing with the environment. Gas stations respawn. You can destroy them as many times as you want. And everything else is there for you to cause chaos, to bring down the man, and unlock story missions, which admittedly weren't great in the last one, but this is a rare example of a developer focusing on single player. This isn't going to launch with multiplayer. So they are doing their best they can to make an amazing single player experience. There's one, uh, at least one Let's Play out there. If someone who's gotten into the game early, I'll link you to that. It's Nerd Cubed. If that doesn't have you excited to play this game or to watch me play this game, I don't know how much you like my channel, but damn, I'm excited. And you know the day this game comes out, guys, December 1, I'm going to be all over it. I'm going to be all over this thing. These are the mini game modes. There's races and uh, junkyard things and destruction competitions. I think you can post your scores online and compete with your friends. However, you won't be actually in the same game world. Um, I don't know, guys. I, Like I said, I don't do these very often. A game has to get me excited as hell to make this happen, to make me want to do a, a trailer breakdown, because like I said, the copyright's annoying. But look at this game, and imagine when we get multiplayer. Imagine when you can do this with your friends. I'm going to go out on a limb and say within a year, it's an option. The developers will give it to you, and if they don't it's the amazing thing about gaming on PC. The modders will give it to you. Took two years last time. I think we'll be playing this with our friends not that long after December 1st. Guys, this is it. Just Cause 3. I'm going to call it quits here. I apologize. The lighting on my camera since I started recording this has gotten completely effed. I was using daylight and it's now cloudy. So if this is super dark, I apologize. I may record the whole thing over again. But geeks, that's it. Thank you for watching this trailer breakdown triple trailer breakdown for just cause three i'm unite the clans and i will see you guys come december when i am blowing shit up for real in this game